Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to your fourth Zvelte tutorial. This one is going to be on classes. Okay, so um, similar to attributes covered in the previous video, in Zvelte it is super easy to manipulate and toggle on and off your classes. Okay, so um, let's go inside the text editor right here and take a look at an example. So inside here we're going to add a new h1 element. Okay, and then we can just give this a class of water. Okay. And of course, this right here is going to work perfectly fine. We expect the class of water to be added to the H1 element. Okay, so now if I was to say something like uh, um, there's water in my bottle. Okay, so of course in real life, there is indeed water in my bottle. So that was the inspiration for that class. But anyway, um, that is going to work in the exact same way. So if I was to save this, we can see in the browser, we of course get the class of water on the H1 element right there. So that's, that's working perfectly fine. Now, what about adding classes conditionally? So basically adding a class depending on a value or some sort of condition inside the application. So for example, Let's go up here and we can just make a new variable and let's call this variable uh, text should be green. Now this right here is obviously quite a poor uh, variable name, but we can just say yes inside here for yes, the text should be green. So we're going to see how to conditionally apply a class to this H1 based on this variable. So. Let's actually go inside the styles right here. Now, I know we haven't actually covered CSS just yet in this series, but uh, we can add quite a straightforward class. So we can say decode right here as the class name. Then we can say color and set the color to be 009579 and that is the decode green color. So now let's apply this decode class to this H1 based on this variable right up here. So we can say inside here, we can say class, then using a colon, we can specify the class of decode. And then we can say equals and place a JavaScript expression. So basically, whatever you put inside uh, these curly braces, if it evaluates to be truthy, then the class is going to be added. So for example, I can say text should be green is equal to yes. So now this class of decode is going to be added as long as the text should be green variable is equal to exactly yes. So now saving this and uh, going inside the browser, we can see in fact, yes, um, the water, sorry, the text is green. So of course, um, the decode class got added right there. Okay, now of course, if I was to change this to be something like, uh, let's just do no, of course, no does not equal yes. So we expect this to be, of course, black and we can see the class has been removed. So that's how that works. Now, when it comes to uh, Boolean uh, variables, so for example, if I make this text should be green and I'll make this true, we can then quite simply just specify text should be green inside there. And it's going to work in the exact same way because of course, this right here is going to evaluate to be true. So saving this, we can see it works in the exact same way. Now we can actually take this a step further. So let's go back inside here. Let's name the attribute. Sorry, let's name the uh, let's name the variable to be decode. And then we can simply just say right here that so we can simply just say class colon decode as long as the uh, the actual class name here of decode matches a variable called decode it is going to automatically toggle based on this variable so now saving this we can see the class was added and if i was to go back inside here and make this false we can see now the class has been removed and we can see that happening right there. Now, of course, as usual, um, this is going to be reactive. So if I was to, for example, make a set interval right here, and I just toggle the state of the decode variable between true and false. So we can say right here, we can just say decode equal to not decode. So basically, we're just toggling between true and false on this variable. We can do this every second. Okay, so now we can see if I save this, we can see, of course, um, the class is going to be conditionally added depending on that variable as every second goes by. And that is classes in Svelte. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.